welcome to Bonita's Kitchen. Thank you for joining me. What I'm going to be making for you today is traditional Newfoundland fish and brews and scrunchions. I'm going to take a few minutes here now to show you some of the ingredients that we'll be using. We're going to be using four medium potatoes, two pieces of hard bread, and I'll explain a little bit about that as we go. We got a piece of fat pork, two medium onion, and we got a pound of salt cod, and I, and I already got it starting to boil. We're going to be using sea salt, pepper, two tablespoonfuls of butter, and uh, okay, so let's get started. Okay, I got my uh, two medium onion cut up into small little pieces, and the fat pork, I, I got about maybe a quarter of a cup and I got it because it's got a hard back to the pork I got it cut in little pieces and what we're going to do then is shave this off and I'm going to start frying it in the pan before we start frying just to let you know that I have already got the potatoes boiled and I got the salt fish boiled and that was only about 15 10 15 minutes per boiler for each pot and uh, so let's get started frying this and then I'll show you my next step. Okay, so I'm going to put my fat pork into my frying pan. I'm just going to put it over on the stove on a medium heat with two tablespoonfuls of butter. I'll just put that in there. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about now while that's frying the hard bread. I soaked it overnight in some cold water. And of course, this is what it turns out like. It starts out a piece of hard bread, and you can get it at Purity. Um, I'm not certain of any other brand that you can buy, but maybe it is some other if you want to Google it. So when you soak it, it just goes into pieces of bread. You can't use regular bread. It's got to be hard bread. Also, in cold water, I soaked overnight my salt cod. If you don't want to do it overnight and you want to you know take it out and cook it right away you can boil it off by boiling it once draining it boiling it again or just soaking it for a couple of hours so now what i'm going to do is get my pots strain off the water off the 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 cod and then i'm going to show you my next step okay so what i'm going to do now is get my salt cod and I'm just going to drain off um, the water from this and just put it down there. And I'll show you now what this card is going to look like. I'm just going to pour this into the sink. And this is what our card is going to look like. Um, we'll start to flake it apart there now and I'll explain that to you what I mean by that. Okay, so what I mean by flaking it apart, you take a fork and a knife and you just slowly take all of the, the meat, which is the cod meat, and flake it all apart. Now this is boneless cod. You can get at your, your market. The same with your art bread. You should be able to buy that at your grocery store or maybe at a, a farmer's market. Um, and again, continue doing this. If you got a piece of cod that got bones in it, you definitely need to take every bone out of there because this is this meal is all put together and you, you won't be able to see if the bone is there. So this is what it looks like. This is a pound of salt cod. Now what I'm going to do is take the potatoes out of the pot and add it to this. Okay, now I'm going to reach for my potatoes. I'm not going to strain the potatoes because I want to use the same water that I boiled the potatoes in for my hard bread. This is already cooking. This way it's just to dip it in there five minutes and it's totally ready. So these potatoes, this is four medium potatoes, I boiled it for about 10-15 minutes. You don't need to take very long. If you've got your water already on boiling, it don't take very long. So this is the same water my potatoes was boiled in. And now I'm going to add the hard bread, which is now soaked into that water. Okay, so now I'm just gonna 
put my herb bread into my boiling water. And again, the water has already started to boil because you used it for your potatoes. So let's cover this about 10 minutes. It smells amazing in here, by the way. Um, the salt pork now is starting to fry. You can air it in the background. So now what I'm going to do, these potatoes are very soft. So again, just take your fork and slowly, you know, chop through it to start mixing all of your ingredients, which right now it's only salt, cod, and potato together. And I'm also going to incorporate into this a little bit of black pepper, probably four or five grates. I'm not going to use salt. I do have sea salt off to the side, but really what I used for that was just to add it to my pot when I boiled the, the potato. Um, taste your salt, cod, after you had grated it, take a little taste of it just to see if it's not too salty for you. Well, you can continue on like I'm doing here, or if it's salty, you want to put it back and boil it again um, and strain that water off in some fresh water. Okay, so let's go check on our salt pork and we'll see how that's doing. Okay, now that it's salt pork is uh, nice and crispy. We're going to add in our onion, and that's two medium onions, and we're going to cook this onion off until it starts to soften. Okay, so now that we got the onion frying now with the salt pork, I'm going to add in a couple of grates of my pepper, and that's just for flavor. Oh, it smells amazing in here. I know I've said that once already, but I can't stress enough how good it smells. I'm going to get the hard bread now, which is now soft bread, um, and scoop or strain it off that pot and put in with my potato and salt cod. Okay, so now that's done. So I'm going to get the bread strained off be a little messy so you want to make sure you don't burn yourself. Now with um, the hard bread I also want to make sure that I got all the liquid out of the bread so you want to push down oops won't escape push down on it a little bit so that it'll drain off some of the liquid because now that the bread have boiled for about 15 minutes it's um, taken on quite a bit of liquid. So let's pour this now in with our potato and salt cod. Okay, same as we did before, we're going to fork everything together because I don't think you need to mash this. Some people do like it mashed because it, it just puts everything together. But I like to be able to taste the potato and the cod and the bread in separate tastes, you know, not all mashed together. Also, um, this fish and brews is, well, it's our traditional meal that we would have at Christmas Eve. But you can also make fisherman's brews, which is um, all separate potatoes, our bread, and your salt fish separate on your plate. Okay, so now my scrunchions are done. So I'm going to reach for that, turn off the damper. Um, again, this is all to do with your frying, is on medium heat. You want to fry it until it's golden brown. So I'm going to put half of it into my mixture. So we got half of our scrunchions and onion into the, uh, our mixture. So I'm going to mix this together until it's all incorporated. So after you've got it all mixed, so what I'm going to do is take up, it's ready. I'm going to take up a nice alping and put in my plate there. And I'm going to show you then what I'm going to do. I'm going to put another alping of scrunchions over the top. So I'll just push this off to the side. Bring this close. So I'm just going to take a little bit more just to put over the top. Now this is optional. You don't need to add uh, any of it to your mixture. You can put it over after. Um, this recipe, again, is, is our traditional uh, meal that we would have on uh, Christmas Eve. But, again, I like it any time. 
Okay, so please share this with your family and friends. Uh, post it on your Facebook um, and they may subscribe to Vanita's Kitchen and every time I post a new video of a recipe, it will automatically go to them and to you, of course. Um, I will also post um, my recipe in under the video. Um, so if this is not clear, my video, you can refer to that. Uh, recipe to help you on each step. Thank you for joining me for Bonita's Kitchen. I hope today's recipe was helpful to you. You have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.